Welcome back. The night is here. Nightmare. They call the student section in the stands and wait for something to really erupt about. We're tied here at the break. And we get a look at the first half highlights. Oh. As you'd expect from both these teams, it's full bragging rights and it's been a physical game as you're getting ready for the squads to come back from the locker room. And you see physical play, Jennings hitting the deck, Shackleford following suit. There's some good, been some good chances as well. This ended up being a foul. Hernandez on the goal line, not letting the ball go in. Goalkeeper comes out and gambles. Very central defender, doesn't let him down. Rising up tallest to make the claim. And there's a nice save there by the goalkeeper at the other end. McCullough being strong at his near post. This is probably the best chance of the game for either squad. And look at the reaction of Shackford and McLaughlin. They don't know how they missed that opportunity. It was a great ball played in by Quasho. And Cal Jennings, he's been busy in the first 45 minutes. Ging giving his team a chance at the back post. Didn't quite hit the shot how he wanted to. But Jennings has been in around all of the action for UCF in the first half. Yes, his shot's about even. Fouls more on SMU, obviously. Corner kicks. SMU again leads the conference, averaging six a game. So they're on pace for that. That is 20th in the nation, by the way. And a save for each of the keepers. Pretty even, Matt. As you'd expect between the two regular season champions. Uh, one stat that stands out to me is that the fouls, when these two met in the regular season, they shared 42 fouls. So this is a, a much different game as they are playing and being allowed to be playing by the referee tonight. Well, the jackets have come out here in Orlando. Cold front has moved through this evening. I was the last person anybody's thinking is going to be in college athletics. One thing I really valued about my SMU experience was being in engineering school. I was taught how to think. In 2012, my wife and I decided to start our foundation. Basically, the goal is to let kids be kids while they're in the hospital, but also be able to return to being a kid when they're done. A huge part of my quality of life is the experiences that I've had, and that was all provided by SMU. I'm Thomas Morstead. Game changers are shaped here. I got it. <laughs> oh, this is big. Whoa. This is big. This is big, baby. This is big. This is big. And welcome back. You're looking at UCF Soccer and Track Stadium here in the lovely campus of UCF. And Haley is ready with Coach <laughs> Hudson. Like <laughs> Coach, UCF without three of their starting midfielders in that first half. What is your evaluation of how your midfielders handled that battle in the midfield? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty even. I think we can be a little bit better. Um, you know, we have to have a little more confidence to play through them, but, you know, I think once we build and kind of break that first line of pressure and we can get our midfielders to turn and go forward, I think we can create some chances. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second. Thank you. All right, Coach Hudson. Jump Haley. What do you expect? Uh, any changes? What kind of strategy do you expect to see Matt coming out of the break? Uh, the adrenaline's going to be running because you've just had a good talking to from your head coach, and that goes for both teams. And I think it's going to be a a frantic couple of minutes right off of the opening kickoff of the second half. But I don't think both teams will be a little bit more composed in the second 45 minutes. As you see Coach Hudson there wanting his team to play with a little bit more confidence, play with it a little bit more poise, and get through the lines of UCF, connect the passes up the field. And really, I think the message was the same from Coach Calabrese as he went to the locker room. He said he wants his team to keep possession, settle the nerves, and make sure that they're brave in the right areas. And so I think both teams, they're very similar in the, the way they, they play and the personnel that they have. You're looking about Shacklefoot up top for SMU. You've got Jennings up top for UCF. Two very similar players, speedy, fast, like the ball to feet, can play the, with the ball into space. And they're ably supported by McCoughlin and Dawkins. So 
in the midfielders as well, they have very similar personnel. So it's going to be interesting to see how things go and which team bends or breaks first. And you think with the home field advantage that UCF have, they'll certainly want to get on the front foot first and see if they can get this crowd excited. Well, the night was trying to get the crowd excited, get them going for the seventh ranked UCF Knights. That is the highest ranking in program history. They are looking for their first American Athletic Conference tournament title. SMU hoping to make it two straight this season. As they defeated UCF last season in overtime, two to one in the tournament championship in Dallas. Well, Matt expects energy right off the kick here to open the second half. Across, Haney has it. Back in, Dawkins trying to settle. Well, Thursday night, it only took about two minutes before UCF struck. That was Cal Jennings. And at that time, it cut the UConn lead in half. As they trailed two to one after that goal. Went on to win three to two in double OT. SMU also trailed to, Mem by, uh, to Memphis in their semifinal game. 1-0 before going on to win 2-1 in double overtime. There's the cross. Well done. And just getting a hand down. It was Makala. Sensational play by Makala. Because otherwise, getting ready to head that in. Were the Knights. Beautiful ball played by Abanez. We'll get another look. That was a wonderful cross. The goalkeeper will not get credit for a save, but make no mistake, that is a goal saving save right there. Beautifully done by the goalkeeper, Makala. Magnificent from Makala. Abanez taking the corner, running out to retrieve it. Is Stiegwert. Uh, do Pepper. Hernandez into the 18. Warrington able to knock it away. Whistle blows and I'll go against. SMU as you look at Zachary Waitman and Coach Calabrese. Accelerating up the middle of the pitch. Look at Learman go. Uh, gives it off. Trying to serve it back was Villal Villalobos and a shot from Jennings is wide to the left. Nice strike from Cal. Makes him so dangerous is that he can turn his defender to the left or to the right. This time he comes inside and takes a left-footed strike. A little look up, trying to bend the ball into that back post. The goalkeeper wasn't sure. Learman from that central back position loves to go forwards. Dribbles the ball so nicely. Lobos just needed to slot the ball on the deck through that inside right channel, and I think Learman was in on net, but Lobos going with the, the lofted pass, which for me was the wrong decision. This is Waitman advancing. And pass put out a little bit too far in front of Ibanez. I swear it, Coach Calabrese wants his players to be brave and be poised. Waitman just needed a little bit more patience. The blast right at the keeper, Makala. Uh, the left foot, that was Apper Bay. He does have a goal and assist. The senior does on the season. Uh, Parabe there just measured his shot just a little too much. Fortuitous that the deflection goes in. You can just see the look up, trying to figure out where the goalkeeper was in a Parabe. Just measured it too long. It's almost like he had too much time to shoot the ball. 
can't fault him. He hits the target, makes the goalkeeper work, but yeah. that's one that he would like back. The best look of the night for UCF. Coach Hudson scream instructions down to the pitch to his team. He just can't be happy that Villalobos was allowed to get that ball on the deflection from a sloppy pass forwards from SMU. Gorka Aparabe, senior from Winter Springs. Madhu Pepra. Can he find a seam here between two black shirts? Noah Hilt plays a long ball looking for Shackleford. His pass right out front, McLaughlin. No whistle there, well defended by the Knights. Counter attack opportunity as they run on ahead, right side Jennings. Jennings settles, blasts the save. Rebound Dawkins, his shot, another save. Diving effort from Makala. Spectacular to the far post. Jennings doubled and has it taken by Smith. Great action here from the Knights. End-to-end -end stuff. A penalty kick appeal waved off at one end and a world-class save at the other. Crowd chanting. Waitman. We're going to go down sideline to Haley. As we see UCF building some momentum here on the sideline, midfielder Louis Perez in a penny, warming up, having conversations with the trainer, doing some different agility movements and sprinting. So it'll be interesting to see if we see Perez enter this game. Well, that's great news, Haley. Louis Perez up, warming up. Moon Joma working with Shackelford. Offsides. Ball opens up. Here's the shot coming in from Jennings. That's one good save, but this is the best. What a punch out there from Macula. A nice shot from Dawkins, trying to bend the ball into the back post. His best effort of this tournament. And it took a special save to keep him from scoring. Ponder plays it ahead. Shackelford and McLaughlin working together. Dawkins turning it the other way with Waitman. There's Cal. Jennings left it for his teammate, but. Villalobos just needs to get out of that space. Understand where Jennings is trying to get to. Oh, Shackelford, he turned on the jet, so Edel took no chances and went after it. That was awkward for the goalkeeper. That long ball forward skipped away from Edel for a minute, and he had to retreat quickly to make the stop. The Waitman on his run into the corner. There is the cross, and headed out. Oh, the action is picked up here in the second stanza. Koi show. No oh, Shackelford. Lost it high in the air. He was expecting somebody to come in from the left flank. That'll rolls ahead to Stegward. Now, six shot advantage for the Knights. SMU averaging 16 shots per game. That is second in the conference and ninth in the nation. UCF averaging 19.6 shots per game. 
Both teams with seven all-conference selections. Haney looks up, plays it forward. This is Christian Baroom, senior from Fort Lauderdale. That off the backside of Ibanez. Making the most of his PT. He's had some impactful moments here since subbing in. A sliding play by Jennings. So an action-packed first 10 minutes of the second half. We remain scoreless. Set-piece opportunity for the Mustangs with Emil Quasho hovering over along with Moon Choma. Right into the wall. Sent back and beyond the bleachers. Off the foot of Caleb Smith. SMU, normally so creative off of the set pieces. Saw some good ones on Thursday in semi final action, but so far they haven't been terribly inventive off of those free kicks and corners. Well, Haley has another report on Perez. Yeah, guys, some bad news for Louis Perez, the midfielder of the year after giving it a go and warming up on the sideline, shook his head no, back down on the bench with ice on that knee, and he will not be entering this game anymore. Uh, had to be a disappointing Louis Perez. Uh, thinking, of, like you say, Matt, big picture, moving forward into the NCAA tournament. Hoping to get the midfielder of the year back. Shackelford all by himself. And great job by Learman to catch him. And now picked up and cleared. Out of there by Ibanez. Spectacular job by Giannis Learman. That was wonderful defense from Learman. You see Shackelford as he picks the ball up. He takes it straight towards the goal across the face of the defender, Hernandez, who can't make the play. The Lehman has a much better angle, gets goal side and intercepts Shackleford beautifully and comes away with the ball. As everybody who's supporting the UCF Knights was in a bit of a panic because Shackleford was in acres of space. Sigh of relief here in the stands. Unjoma, well, quickly, Waitman shanking his head. Grew up in a household where both his parents worked as stunt doubles. You think they allow their kids to like jump off the bed? And, and is that commonplace? And <laughs> well, growing up, I used to toss the ball against the wall in my bedroom and dive onto the bed to save it. Attacking SMU. As Louis has to be very disappointed. Well, that's just that, awkward, isn't it? That's the pressure on the lateral side of the right knee there with the foot planted a little bit. Hopefully it's nothing serious for Louis Perez and UCF. But it's got to look a big picture. If you don't know the full extent of the injury and it doesn't feel quite right, you don't want to go back in at play and aggravate it further. So I think it's the right decision for him not to come into this game. That hit was by Allender. The all-rookie player out of Norway. Crowd chanting. 
UCF. The Knights trying to build up an attack. Villalobos. The superstar Jennings. Second in the nation with 20 goals. Ibanez. Couldn't get past Mujoma. Well, wait, Mendel. Throw it in. Enjoy watching good, patient defending as Moonjoma demonstrated that. And coming out, Makala just in front of the pressure from Villalobos. Uh, Grant has had a solid game, hasn't he, Matt? Played really well. Done a fantastic job in net for SMU. Made the big save when he had to off the foot of Dawkins earlier in this half. Edel at the moment is playing well for UCF, but hasn't had to do anything spectacular. And he'll hope that that remains yeah, the case. I'll take that, right? Ponder and, and Maples. Part of the very solid back line, along with Haney or Coach Hudson. Croatia dummying the ball there, thoughting that Shackelford was going to be running behind him as he was checking to the ball. Beautiful long ball by Dawkins to Cal. Jennings slows. He's in such great control, Jennings, at all times. Ibanez lines it up with no pressure. Hurrying to retrieve that. Villalobos. Checked by Maples. It's another illustration of how movement off the ball can open up opportunities. Ibanez was lots of time on the ball, but the overlapping run from Waitman just allowed Ibanez more time to pick where he was going to cross it. And UCF with sustained pressure now in their attacking half. Waitman scurring right. Excellent movement. There's a shot. And Makala again covering. Reading the position of the defender, where the shot was likely to go. Movement to his left from the goalkeeper. And makes no mistake getting his body behind the ball. And Zettel does well not to concede the corner kick after a wayward backward header. Yeah, you can't underestimate the speed of Shackelford. Well, he is on you in no time. Substitute for UCF, there's Ricardo Oliveros returning in, replacing Ibanez. Coach Calabrese has to be pleased with the effort from Gregorio off of the bench. Question though is, would you rather concede a corner kick or a throw-in when you've got Warrington, yeah, Warrington on the field yeah. with points. his long throw-in? Yeah, watch this accuracy, along with the power. Headed. And just to the side of the net. It was just whiskers wide. Parave must have been offside when that goal kick was taken. Good look at Gorka. Goal and assist this season. 6 1 senior from Winter Springs. And Coach Hudson. Urging his team on. They have been outshot 10 to 4. SMU looking to win two straight American Athletic Conference titles. Tulsa won three straight from 2014 to 2016. UCF. Hoping to win their first in front of their home crowd tonight. Hernandez strikes and the save. Diamond to his left from Edel. Trying to urge his players on. And with plays like this, he doesn't need to wave his arms in encouragement. Wasn't the most spectacular of saves, but it was short from 
one of the best goalkeepers in the college game. Nicely done, punching it out, making sure that ball stayed nowhere near his penalty area. Keeper of the year. Organizing, corner kick out front. And kicked away by Villalobos. Counter attack opportunity, here come the Knights. Charging on. There's the blast, and another save by Makala. This time going to his right. Oliveris with a strong strike. Illustration how dangerous both these teams are on the counter attack. Oliveris had options. You see that little movement from Munjama to his left because he saw that Haru Pepra was on the right. That opened the space, the shooting lane for the shot from Oliveris. And that was well done by the goalkeeper. It looked clumsy, but he had to get down and play the bouncing ball. The ball punched out of there by Makla uh, for the corner kick from Stigwart. Oliveris poking at it. SMU would like to get Quasho more involved here. McLaughlin gets it to Emil. Joma, see if he'll rush it in or they'll give it to Warrington. Substitution being made, so Warrington will trot over to take this one. Now DJ Williams re-enters the pitch, the junior from Fort Worth. A couple goals and assists this season. Two cups of water for Garrett McLaughlin as he will take a break. Garrett, 2017 third team All-American. Well, that's what made him a preseason Mac Herman Trophy watch list player. Warrington heaving it. Oliveras clearing. Hernandez serving it back in. Stigwert scoring his first goal as a UCF Knight. A game winner in double overtime on Thursday in the semis over UConn. And actually, they score passing from both teams. Villalobos quickly. Borum will check back in a moment. Jennings blocked by Maples. Waitman hard dash to his left. Oliveras tried to serve it in. It was blocked away. KL settles. Who lost it? Almost taken back by Adu Pepra. And Quaysho was actually shooting that when he saw that Edel was way off his line. Didn't quite connect with that ball. Looking for the give and go. And then looped back. Tremendous passing. Oh, just cleared out of there by Ponder. Excellent work by Apera Bay. Along with Oliveros. Look at the passing here, Matt. That's beautifully done. One time passing. Good defensive work as well on the double team coming over on the cover. 
Haney doing his best to slow Aparabe up. And that allows the central defender to come over. And a substitute able to come in now, Borum. Now, Quasho will rest here with about just over 20 minutes remaining in the title game. All right, back to Warrington. Directs it in. And who's had to graze off the last? Might have been Adu Pepper's head. I think it's a corner kick to SMU. And if it was, that's a very important defensive header. Because Warrington played a really good ball in from this near sideline. Quasho receiving attention. These players have logged a ton of minutes over the past three days. That'll be Moon Joma. He has four assists on the season. In swinger out front, Haney tried to put a head on it. Unable to keep it in play. A good effort there for SMU and DJ Williams. Service again, the set pieces have been disappointing from both teams. SMU not delivered really a good ball in. Corner kicks even at four. SMU has been unable to find the back of the net this season against UCF, losing 2 0 here late September. Uh, we are scoreless. With just over 18 to play. Kettle will launch. Nope. Every one of these championship games in the tournament has gone to overtime. And all but one has gone to PKs. Yeah, whistles blow. I do papra. Warrington and Munjoma have switched sides as the wing backs. Joma on the left flank now, trying to get further forward, trying to put out of Pepper under some pressure. And on that occasion, the right back for UCF makes the mistake. Oh, Joma sends it in and a score. Borum gets a piece, and they get it by Yana Gettel. SMU takes the lead 1-0. Moon Joma with his fifth assist of the season. For the first time tonight, SMU get the delivery right. It's a wonderful ball. Played in to the near post. Look at the run across the face of the goalkeeper. Edel no chance, he gambles to his left. Faintest of touches, the goalkeeper did actually make contact with the ball, but not enough to deflect it out as Boren puts it into the back of the net. Oh, outstanding execution by Kevin Hudson and his team. Christian Borum, his first goal of the season, and what a time to collect it. Oh, Joma put it right on his cleat. So important just to play those balls in, bending balls. We saw it for UCF on the game Thursday. 
Stigwart playing it in to the far post area, never touched, goes into the back of the net. This one, the bending ball, this time into the near post, and it's impossible for the defenders to make a play on the ball. If they do, they're probably going to turn it into their own goal anyway. And Edel, with all kinds of him, like, pressure on him, did his best to keep it out, make contact with the ball, but not enough to make the save. A free kick for UCF. As Adu Prepra down, they play on as he climbs to his feet, hobbling. Waitman. Some urgency for UCF. Makala able to capture that in traffic. Well, Waitman's got a long throw of his own seen that from UCF at all this tournament. Zaperabe was running towards Waitman expecting the ball to his feet from the throw-in. Jennings was filling the gap behind and that's why Waitman went with the long quick throw-in. It almost came off but Jennings was just a little too far from the keeper. Zaperabe in the area but Ponder able to send it away from any harm's way. Substitute for UCF coming into the contest is CJ Campbell as he replaces Adu Pepra, who was shaken up a moment ago. CJ has two goals this season. 5'7 senior out of plantation. Oh, great touch from Learman. That ball blasted. Uh, no white shirts around. Under 15 minutes remain, and a concerned crowd for the Knights behind Mackala. You see SMU, their 31 NCAA tournament appearances. And if they hold on here, they will secure number 32. Mr. Hernandez, tell me Mackala to make sure you get the ball back in play more quickly, please. Twenty-one Sweet 16 appearances for the Mustangs. That ball scooped up by Edel. Now the conference certainly hoping and pretty confident they'll get the three teams in. Uh, UConn, SMU, and UCF. Well, the automatic bid could be wrapped up by the Mustangs here. You never want to take the risk either. When you're looking at an at-large bid, you're hoping that other conference tournaments go with the seeding so that the regular season champions will get the automatic bid to the tournament. You want a really low seed to get through and win their tournament, and then all of a sudden you lose places from conferences like the American. A pair of bay headed it in the direction of Dawkins. All right, let's toss it down to Haley. We just saw Christian Borum with the goal for SMU, but you had to wonder if it might be Christian, or Philip Ponder, rather, the hero today. The defender has had four goals in the last three games, and when I asked head coach Kevin Hudson about it, he told him to keep riding this wave, enjoy having the hot hand. And, and Philip said, Coach, I don't know what's going on. He said, I think it's God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Corner kick. Knights fans. Getting into it. Now you see another night player shaking up a bit as Villalobos. All right, big, uh, big corner here with time winding down. In swinger straight on, punched out of there, but a whistle to not negates that play anyway. And that is the knee of Louis Perez, as he will see if he can stretch that out now, Matt. They've been icing it the entire night. Frustrated, he isn't able to influence this game other than standing in support of his teammates.
Mustangs on the attack again. There's a play made by Edel on the cross attempt. Good run for the Mustangs. UCF crowd trying to energize their Knights. Short-handed, three starters down. Ooh. Maples tripped up just on the edge of the 18. Uh, excuse me, Hernandez. This was a clever ball play for us from DJ Williams. Nice run from Hernandez. And there's a melee of players coming off the bench for SMU. That'll be for the fourth official to sort out. Those players need to calm down, otherwise they can get a yellow card for entering the field of play without the referee's permission. So the wall being built by the Knights as SMU tries to seal this win. They pick up a goal here and make it obviously extremely difficult. Well, favors the left-footed shot, but the ball's got to get up and down in a hurry. Canute Allender with the bender over the crossbar. And over the top of the leading Edel, leaping Edel. Well, the angle favored the left-footed shot, and you've got 10 yards to get that ball up, but only 8 yards to get it down the other side. And obviously, Arlanda managed the 10, but failed on getting it down in the remaining 8 yards he had. Now going deeper in, into his bench is Coach Calabrese, bringing in Jack McCloskey, local product sophomore from Winter Springs, trained with the Orlando City Academy as he replaced Stiegwert. McLaughlin back on the pitch for Coach Hudson. Hernandez. Well, does UCF have some magic left to try to get it to their superstar, Cal Jennings? They have another foul whistled on the Knights. Hilt exchanging words with Lehman, Learman. Hernandez is on the turf. And Learman understanding he was late in the challenge and trying to offer a word of apology to Hernandez. Now a Hilt coming over, making his feelings felt or heard, I should say. Sam, you won't mind this. It's all seconds ticking off the clock. Oh, the referee stopped the did stop the clock for the issue and served the yellow card. Oh, Learman showing the yellow. Hollander directing traffic. Freshman from Norway. All rookie team in the conference. Ojomo. Good aggressive play by Ibanez. Earns the possession for the Knights. Well, they trailed 2 0 at the half to Yukon. And now down 1 0. Learman's coming into the midfield more aggressively now. Waitman had Learman to his right. And the left fullback kept it on the short side and dribbled into pressure. Gives up possession on the throw in. Just nine minutes remaining in this title game. Important for the Knights not to panic right now. Understand that it's only one goal. You've got the firepower, you've got the tools to get back in this match. You've just got to be composed 
play within the framework that the coaching staff have provided for you. Don't try and do anything different out of the style that you've utilized all season long. Learman being challenged near midfield. <laughs> Referee telling Learman to settle it down. I've already given you a yellow. I really don't want to send you off. <laughs> uh, Ian Hollander going at it again. Dawkins with some space in front. Jennings breaks free, settles, shoots. And Makla covering that near post. Not much of an angle there for Cal. And he had more time on the ball than he realized to Cal Jennings. SMU dropped ever so deep. They had one player playing almost like a sweeper. The Maples thought that the offside was on, but Ponder dropped deep. And that allowed the space for Jennings to get in on the goal. Joma directing it downfield to McLaughlin. His shot didn't get much on it. Edel was there. McCloskey bothered McLaughlin a bit. Physical play and a whistle from um, Warrington. Now Warrington, just understand the camel's going away from goal. Don't have to put your hands on the player's back. Into the 18. Uh, Jennings and Waitman were there. That ball lifted well over the net. Lehman went for the spectacular. Had the patience to wait for that ball to come down. In the end, the execution let him down. And surprisingly, it's Lehman that's coming to the bench. And I think it's because his emotions are running high right now. This is purely player management from the head coach. Telling him to go sit down and cool off a little bit. There's a shot total. Crowd trying to ignite their team here in their home pitch. UCF 8-1-2 this season at home. 12-1-3 in the last two seasons. In danger of dropping only their second loss in the last two seasons on their home pitch. They've managed only five shots on goal here tonight. And Makala has come up large for the Mustangs. A couple of sensational saves. Look how high Edel is playing. Well, Waitman trying to find Jennings. Good seal by Cal. Trying to back down. A pair of pay battling. Crowd wanted a call. Good sliding tackle from McCluskey there for UCF. Everybody is in the attacking half for UCF. Edel, the goalkeeper, was at the bottom of the deep. Jennings trying to get hold of the ball. Ponder just smartly just stepped away from Jennings. That wrong footed number three. Then Ponder comes out quickly with the challenge. They pulled the, the chair out from underneath him. They're getting a talk to is Noah Hilt. Sophomore from Centennial, Colorado. A clock has stopped at 434. 
player still down in the SMU penalty area, getting attended to by the athletic training staff of the Mustangs. I think it might be Ponder, I'm not sure. I can see that Maples is standing. Kevin Hudson with hands on hips, looking down to see what the situation is. Yeah, we'll toss it down to Haley for an update. On the SMU side, Emil Quasho just gathering his team right there, saying, guys, just four minutes. This is what we've been working for all season long. Let's finish this out strong. Thank you, Haley. Coach you. Hudson has his team's ear, no doubt. It's great communication there. It's actually Warrington that was injured on the plate. That's what's being played for. Warrington. On his feet. There's the man with the assist. Eddie Munjoma, junior from McKinney, Texas. He trains with FC Dallas. Fifth assist of the season. He set up Borum's first goal of the season. Koisha on the corner with McLaughlin. And Sam Yu took the lead without Quaysha on the pitch. Now they're just going to wind some clock there in the corner. <laughs> UCF trying to form an attack here with under four minutes to play. That's over Waitman. Shaw, dribble into the corner, run clock. Now the crowd really got behind the Knights Thursday night and helped them energize. There's Shackelford on the bench urging his team on. the home crowd here in Orlando. Homecoming week. Spirit splash yesterday. Well, that clock continues to run. Edel. Sam, you were trying to run some seconds off the clock in the corner, but not making a very good fist of it. Waitman to throw it in. Goalkeepers almost at the bottom of the D again, of the center circle, I should say. On the attack, into the 18, corner kick. Excellent work there by C.J. Campbell. And Campbell will strike the corner. Edge of the box. Wind up, booted in. McCloskey. And then cleared out of there. So close. Way out to midfield, Edel. Been impressed all game long with the goalkeeper's skill, with his feet and his body and controlling the ball. Such a huge facet, a part of the modern goalkeeper's game. 
Nettle does it beautifully. But Dawkins. McCluskey. Out to CJ. Campbell into the 18, and that's launched out of there. Well, that'll really saving time for the Knights coming out. Up in the air, Jennings trying to position himself to retrieve it. Strike and a score! With 27 seconds, Hernandez with his first goal of the season. The crowd in an uproar. In the form that Michaela has been in, it was going to take something special to beat him. And it was a pretty special shot off the left foot of Fernandez. It starts with the goalkeeper, Edel, chesting the ball forward to Campbell. The ball comes in, it's kept alive by Jennings. It gets to the left foot of Fernandez. And he makes no mistake, putting it into the back of the net with absolute accuracy and power. And look at this crowd. We are tied at one. Andres Hernandez, what a time to pick up your first goal of the season. And I believe that's Andres down on the turf, taking a shot to the gut. As the clock stops at 16 seconds. Well, we were 28 seconds away from having the first title game that didn't go to overtime. And this might not be over because with this stoppage, it allows Warrington and his long throw to come forwards and send this ball into the box. Something that UCF have dealt with so well all game long. Can they do so for the next 16 seconds? No, Andres, a shot towards the midsection. UCF coaching staff with Coach Souders. Calabrese and Davies. Let's see what happens here. Lands awkwardly. There's a player though, looking up and making sure that the ball is out of the field of play. Athletic trainer indicating that he needs a substitution. You see Andres to his feet. Armand will come in. Well, Hernandez limping off with Richard Armand coming back. 16 seconds away from overtime. Haley's got some info on Richard. Yeah, Richard entering the game in the UCF coaching staff, telling him to keep this defense organized, clear the ball out, and then sit as that center back. Joma, Warrington into the 18, headed down, and cleared away. And we are heading to overtime. No surprise here in the American Athletic Conference Tournament Final. As Abanez gives his coach a hug, a relieved crowd. Uh, they never gave up and energized this team in the final moments of regulation. And there is the equalizer sent in by Andres Hernandez. <laughs> 